Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another injection molding experiment. We'll be making a second mold, this time at a milliput, a product that can actually take very high temperatures and will not have as much issues as the epoxy resin, as well as not being anywhere near as toxic. It will, however, take a lot longer to make, but that's perfectly okay. And with how we're able to bury the part, we should have any damage or anything destroyed. This is one that I've uh, thought or dreamt up. And we'll be using the B100 mold, which is 77 by 77 mil, to be utilized in this machine. This time we'll be making a coat of Bikir's small knife held by a frame arm girl in 1 12th scale as well as a Bandai sprue, which is about 6-7 mil in diameter. We're going to mix these two halves of putty and fill up this mold half with it. Sprayed a little mold release agent in the outer cover. This will take 10 minutes to dry, so the putty will be able to be pushed out at a later date. When mixing a large amount of milliput, I like to chop it out because it mixes it a lot easier. Some people believe it changes the chemical composition, but whatever speeds up the job works for you. The finished result is just going to be just as uh, tough and ideal. It's all mixed up, so we're going to wet the inside of the mould, which has a dry loop. Just a little bit of uh, water on your fingertip, and we'll start forcing it in and levelling it out. What I did was I smoothed it out by making it wet and kept polishing it with my finger until it's practically baby smooth. If it's not quite enough, just uh, push it in and get more putty. If it's too much, push it out and cut it away. We are going to stick the sprue as well as the knife in, right centered in a way where it's meeting with the seam line. I plunge the part into the putty trying to meet up with the flash line as best as humanly possible. Put a sprue in and smooth it around my finger as much as humanly possible. At this stage we're going to let it to dry and harden overnight. Now the sprue is not touching the part. Once it's all hardened at a later date I could actually get a Dremel tool and cut the little gate exactly to size without interfering with the part. After a period of 24 hours, nice and hard, not leaving a dent. You could sand it to be smoother. I don't think I'll uh, bother with this one. It is a test one. Just uh, rammed it in there. We'll start smoothing it out and pushing it together. With my finger and water, I smoothed it out. And I've also pushed it out from the back a bit. It's a bit of a curve. When I sandwich it on top, it should mush the material and force it back out of the hole. Put it in the clamp to make sure it's nice and tight. Wet in this side and we will have a two part mould, hopefully tight enough that it's not going to have much flash. That is going to be the uh, ultimate test. I've mushed it together and I've pushed in the material in the hole to fill it out as much as possible so it is absolutely tight. I'm going to fill the hole a bit more, chuck it in the clamp and leave it overnight. There we go, nice and full. And clamp it up in the machine so it doesn't uh, re-split. And let that to dry over 24 hours. We'll uh, test it out in a couple of days time due to work. We have opened the mould. There has been a couple of issues. The putty is a bit on the soft side. Don't know if it needs more time to dry open or whatnot. So we'll just leave it in there and see how it hardens up and also because when I closed it when it was wet a couple of chunks came off the knife when I pulled it out so there will be a little bit of uh, detail missing we'll do an injection we'll see how we go we're gonna have to try to do a uh, dry one next time and maybe leave uh, more time for it to chemically firm up or whatnot gonna get a Dremel and open up the gate so everything could flow in Everything is also being lubricated and the machine is on almost at temperature. Putting the first amount of plastic in, wooden sticks in place. I'm going to do a compression squeeze. It's been a few minutes. 
and let's do an injection. Do the hissing sounds. Let's see what happened. We've had far more success. We're able to contain the part in a nice seal fit where it's not leaking out of the joint and we're getting humongous flash. Opposite, we've got no flash. But we've got problems that when the mold was pulled apart, it started to disintegrate and with every casting, it has taken a small chunk of the mold out and really deteriorated to the point where the part is unrecognizable and the form is just a strange blob. We've also had a problem that we couldn't get a full casting due to an airlock and there's all sorts of problems I have with the mold. I did do midway a quick casting with the sample mold just to have a feeling of uh, what it's meant to feel like. I'm glad that that did get included in the kit and uh, yeah it was just near impossible I had to hold the plunger down for a good 30 seconds and it started to burn the plastic with a quick drawing we've got the insert which is 9mm and I restricted it down to 6mm because I stole a Bandai runner with the knife on an angle so it could go in the thicker area and later on as it kept cutting halfway I carved out a vent so there was a little sprue hanging out that I could trim later and then after I cut out a little vent and held the plunger down for 30 seconds we started getting a full piece but by then the mold was disintegrating what I should have done was gone as close to the opening as humanly possible each side is close to the edge so it would naturally vent itself and it should fill the detail the next mold I'm going to do it more like this but out of another material and I've also not given up on milliput. I will try that a second time with a few improvements and some vents to see if I can get a better cast. A quick test. Yes, this high impact polystyrene does react to cement and glue together. Also, the spray lube doesn't work out. It gets stuck to the mold and I virtually have to destroy it just to get it out. Uh, we're definitely going to use petroleum jelly on the outer frame at least for an easy pop out like the resin. But yes, we failed. Uh, number two, a huge improvement, not a big deal, learning a lot more. We're going to move to experiment number three. I'm going to try plaster. Now, I think the mold will disintegrate very quickly, but it'll be quick to make and plaster is actually heat resistant. I'm not too sure how it will disintegrate under pressure. We will make a mould and we'll just carry on and see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content and we'll see you guys later.